This conference will now be recorded. Hello, uh, in this video, we will learn how we can import the suppliers using FBDI. So first of all, we should be aware of from where this FBDI can be taken from. So this is the link. Uh, let me click on this. So this link will look, take you to this page and you will have import suppliers, import supplier sites and all FBDI is listed there. You would have this UCM account link as well. That means first these files will be uploaded on this UCM folder, but uh, we will be following a different approach in uploading this. So we are just concerned of the FBDI file. So I have downloaded of all the FBDIs, supplier import, supplier contact address, suppliers, site import and site assignment so one of the key aspect here is supplier site assignment if you don't assign a site if you don't do this uh, step supplier will not be visible in your any of the purchase order to work for or to create any purchase order for any for this supplier created by uh, created in the system until unless you have the site assignment for that supplier. so how we need to proceed so we we, have, we need to proceed according to this sequence or these steps. That means first we need to go for the supplier, then supplier address, then supplier site, then supplier contact. And if you want to create any business classification, product classification, or if you want to put any attachment, and at last you can go with the purging of the interface report records, whatever records you have created and you want to purge that table. So now let's start. So first uh, let's fill these excels that we have downloaded. So first supplier import. This is the instruction page and this is the main page, which is the table page something. So you will have this button as uh, show additional attributes. Always click on this so that you should be able to see all this uh, fields, what is there in this cell. Otherwise it may happen that some hidden field have some default value and you upload it and uh, you won't get any result or it will error out file completion. So batch ID, this is required to pull it for the further steps. So I have given the batch ID as BT01, then create a section, supplier name. Uh, actually, when you download this, you will have some default values which will let you know that these columns are mandatory. And you can see star mark are there. So you have to provide the values where we have the star mark there. And uh, spanned authorized, I have kept it. That's, so these are the values that I have kept. So uh, let's go to second Excel supplier address for these two suppliers. I have created the address as well. Address entry, address line one, two, and then then proceed further. Now as I have created the supplier address as well. Now go to the next file, which is supplier site. Let's uh, pull the data, put the data here as well. And uh, similarly check all this values should be filled up. Similarly, the contact import, this file I have filled and I have filled the assignment, supplier assignment as well. Now comes the execution part. For that, for each file, we need to generate the CSV file. So I'm clicking here and generate CSV. It will ask where you want to save. So I should go to my download and supplier uploads. So uh, I'm saving here this zip file. Save. CSV has been saved. OK. Now next would be my address. So let me again go to the first page and generate CSV file. Save it in the same location save it may ask multiple times you to save that file just press save next again go to that file generate csv file save 
save, save. Okay, it has asked me multiple times just because it is there is a third party relationship as well where we are not using anything. So I have blanked it out. Now next file, supply contact import. So this is the contact address link and supplier contact. So let me just create this as well. I need to take it as batch create supplier name. Batch import action supplier name. First name, let me give FN first name and last name ln and let me give bt bt zero or let's say bt zero one and any facts let me keep as yes it's not the unique value required there Similarly, for second row, I need to give and two. Let me give this last name and then two. I'm just taking any name. This one, this is administrative contact, and this BT02. And yes, anything else? Let me put same values. Okay. Um, now I will go to my first page and generate the CSV file. Save it. Save it. So we have saved it. Now the last one, supplier site assignment. This is the value I have already provided here. Now I will again go for the generate the CSV, generate the CSV file, save. And save. Okay, so values are saved now. Now I will go to instance. Okay. So this is my instance and I will go to the setup and maintenance. Sorry, I don't have to go to the setup and maintenance. I have to go to this uh, schedule processes. Let me go to that schedule processes. One thing that we need to take care that you should do this from a employee user. I'm a user which have an employee associated to them. Otherwise, you will not be able to say certain things. Let's search the process. Which process we need to search? I have mentioned in my notepad first that this is the process load interface file for import. So what we will do, we will search this here. Okay, this says transfer setup transaction data file from user specified location to interface table. So first we have to put the data in interface table. Just press OK. Then which import process? As in this notepad, we know that we have to do so many file imports. So first is import suppliers. Import, maybe it's not here, so I can search from here. Import suppliers. Okay, I need to put this S with capital. Capital letters, import supplier. You will get this import supplier, just click OK. And data file, where you have the data file? just upload new file browse and here you go download supplier upload and we have to select the zip file for supplier import POZ supplier site this is site 
supplier contact supplier these are the suppliers so this is the supplier getting imported so and submit press the submit button we can see we should refresh it and we can see the loading file load interface file and it's running and it's transferring to interface file so i am again scheduling a new process same load interface file for import i would i would be loading my all files it is import uh, see you can see i have already done so they are listed here if I see supplier address, I need to import, import supplier addresses. And then we need to upload the file. Supplier address. OK. OK. Oh, this also we need to press submit. OK. Similarly, again, schedule a new process, load interface file for import. Import process again. We have done the address part. Now, next would be supplier address and the supplier site and then supplier site assignment. So here we need to select the import supplier site. Port supplier site data file again we need to upload supplier sites open okay submit okay schedule new process load interface again this time site assignment Supplier site assignment, take the file that we have created for supplier site assignment. We use it supplier site assignment. Okay. Okay. Submit. Okay, schedule a new process, Green load file, this time contact, supplier contacts, so we need to select the file, supplier contacts, okay, okay, and submit. Okay, refresh. So what we have done, we have loaded all the files as in interface process. Now we can have any sequence in loading interface, but after this interface, we need to load them to our base table. So first of all, let's see that these two suppliers exist or not that we are creating. So I can go to suppliers and search for the supplier names that I am trying to create here, but I want to just validate whether they exist in system. So I will be searching them. Here, last time, and then manage suppliers. So we have two names. One is VALU and other is LW. So first I will search VALU and press this search button. 
it is a bit no data found and then LW search it again says no result found that's fine now again I have to go to my schedule processes So let's refresh this and everything is now success. So I will be submitting, scheduling a new process. And in that new process, I will be having first one as import supplier. So I need to search here and say import import suppliers so what is the specific thing that i need to give here would be my batch number bt01 i'm pressing okay and then batch id bt01 and i'm submitting it okay i will wait for it to get completed So it's completed now, succeeded as well. So now I can go and just see whether suppliers have been created or not. So I will go to the suppliers. Again, click on this task. Here and go to manage suppliers and search LWE. LWE search. Wow, well, I can see the supplier has been created. That's great. So, this is the taxpayer ID which I can say this, this is the one which we have created. LWE. Yes, this one, triple seven, all sevens. So another VALU, let's search that as well. VALU, press search. Now this is also great. So this concludes, and this is the way we can create, we should import the further files as well. Again, we should go to the schedule process and we should import all the remaining files that we have uploaded as a template. So next would be supplier address, then supplier site, supplier site assignment, then supplier contacts. And we can see everything gets imported. So this is the way you can proceed further. Thank you. Thanks.